Good afternoon all, myself Shaktivel. I'm an application engineer at EGS Computers India. Today we are going to see about what are the best practices to handle your large assemblies and drawings in SOLIDWORKS. Uh, about EGS. We, Engineering Global Solutions, Computers India Private Limited, started since 1993 and we have 100 plus employees over here and the head office is located at Chennai and we have two other locations which is located in Coimbatore and Tiruchi and we have the thousand plus customers at our end and what are all we do means we do engineering services for product design and developments and the software solutions like providing the SOLIDWORKS software and the techno technical technological training now we are moving on to the today's agenda working with large assemblies assembly modes assembly techniques large assembly settings and tips, drawing performance and what are the benefits. Working with large assemblies. First of all, what is large assembly? Any assembly that has complex enough to stop you down or hinders your work, it majorly affects your system resources. So any of the assembly that has stopping your process or like slows you down at the kind at the time of working and also your system resources has got suffered while working on large assemblies so first of all we are going to check the what are the system resources we need to stabilize in our end here the hardware consideration for that a SOLIDWORKS system requirement the default system has provided has the recommended and certified hardware for the SOLIDWORKS performances oriented. They have already been tested this type, this set of hardware at their range. Here you can see that how we can choose the hardware. In this hardware certification page, we can able to choose the, what are the versions we are using in SOLIDWORKS and the system vendors and the particular related to the system vendor, what are the system models has been tested and the certified versions. Here you can able to see that I am choosing the system vendor and system models and finally the graphicals, graphic card. So based on your needs, you can able to choose from here and you can set up your systems for the better performance. Then we moving on to working with large assemblies. Here I am opening the one of the assembly file in resolve mode. It will taking some amount of time here. Here you can see that um, the progress indicator, which is showing that total number of components and the which components are opening. And the second is updating the assemblies. And the third step is the update graphics. And also in that progress indicator, you can able to see that the last time, uh, how much time it will taken for open this particular assembly file has shown in below using this we can able to know what are the steps we lo taking to loading for their particular assembly files now the solid file is completely opened so what are the process taken uh, the steps has been taken by the solid works at the back end while opening these set of assembly files now we can sh see that on the next slide so here you can see that these are the activities will SOLIDWORKS perform while we opening the large assemblies. Well, opening the assembly means it will load the, all the reference components, both parts and sub assemblies. It will load around to the memory. If some of the, if any of the components or parts is not edited, so no changes means it will directly goes to the display stage, which means it will shows on the display. If in some cases, uh, we'll open the particular component or sub assemblies and edited separately and saved means it will take this another steps to open the files. First, it will load all the update outdated, outdated components. And then it will solve the mate. Uh, mates have been solved. And then uh, and with the solved mates, it will position the components. And then the uh, in-context and assembly features will load. If these uh, in-context and assembly features has been mated with the assembly features means it will again goes to the solve 
solved mates and position components it will loop back so it will take some amount of time while loading and finally it will display so these are the steps followed by solveworks when we open the large assemblies now followed by we can able to see that what are the steps we want we opening the drawing files the, the assembly files has been opened and then for the drawing files first of all it will update all of the configurations which is associated in that particular drawing and then shows updated drawing assemblies in the drafted view qualities and then the solve depending dependent views like section views and broken out views has been updated and the side by side the high quality views are, has been solved in the background and finally the layers and the line fonts to display the final drawings so this is how the drawing file opens now we moving on to what all the process will slows you down while you working um like while inserting a component or edit, editing adding mates and editing the components or rebuilding the assemblies and view manipulations like scrolling rotating like that and also saving the assemblies these are the places while you working means it will slows you down you may see that on your working and next so we need to know any reason or like if you opening the assembly means we need to open it on these three modes only in solveworks so for, for that first of all any reason if you having any reason to work in your assembly file means you need to choose which mode is suitable for us so first mode is the resolve mode and second lightweight and third large design review ldr so you will see elaborately on next com coming slides first of all resolved um, in while we choosing the resolved modes it will loads all of the components into the memory so it so it will taking considerable amount of time and also allows any kind of editing on that particular model thus it contains all of the model data here on this right side you can able to see that how we choose the resolved modes and then we are moving on to lightweight mode in lightweight mode it will be opens faster than the resolved and it will also editing some limited amounts and it it contains the only the subset of data like planes like that it will this lightweight component shows in the feather symbol and these are the options that you can edit while you are using the lightweight mode here in this like adding removing mates like assembly features measure and section properties and mask properties explorer view these are the these are the options you can able to edit on while we opening the model line lightweight mode and then finally a large design review mode if you want if you want to open the particular assembly and you need to measure for that purpose only you are opening that file means you may choose the large design review which is ldr mode it will open faster than any other modes because it only has less amount of model data and if we want to edit it has limited amount of editing options like inserting components like deleting components moving and rotating the components create edit and delete mates these are the options has been in the limited amount of editing in large design review mode you can also take the rough measurements and also create walk through animation and also you need to check the uh, snapshots using this mode plus if you opening the opening any of the assembly files in resolve modes it will take around 20 minutes but if you open in lightweight mode it will takes only 2 minutes because it loads less amount of data if we open in large design review mode it will takes only 10 to 15 seconds because it will doesn't contains any of the model data so it will opens quickly and you can able to measure the component and you can save your time as well now we'll see the what are the steps of opening the assembly files in your modes but if you choose any of the lighter modes and then if you want to open the open the assembly and work in your assemblies you can able to choose you use any of these methods like the assembly techniques you need to follow like creating the sub assemblies or display states or speed pack configurations d features envelopes and envelope publishers by using these steps or uh, using these any of the methods you can work you can make your uh, assembly files even lighter and you can work faster let's see one by one on the elaboration way for sub assemblies 
if the large assembly files containing most of the components in top top level assemblies means you can able to combine them and make as a small sub assemblies and so that you can able to work in the smaller chunks of the files so you can easily work on the large assemblies by opening and working on the smaller like sub assemblies and you can update it there and the feature manager tree also shorter and easier to work because uh, these are the files are combined and will e easily able to show in your design manager tree let's have some just small video regarding this here you can see that the components are placed on the top level assemblies and also the fastness so we will just combine them and make them as a sub assemblies and the hardware has been put it in the folders so like that we can able to manage our design manager tree using the sub assemblies and then other display state uh, the display state is used to control the visibility of the components like appearances and transparencies also likewise the hidden components we can able we can able to hide the components these hidden components are not are not loaded when we opening the assemblies so it will save some time and then regarding this display state we will just see the short video here in the configuration manager tab there is a different set of display states by choosing that you can able to see that which display state shows some of the components hidden so using that state we can use to open the assemblies faster and then the speed packs well speed packs are derived are the derived configuration they are used for the reduced component graphics it contains the simplified geometries only so for this speed packs we can able to see that a uh, short video here in this video i am just a simplified geometry but not suppressed it will be shows in the particular assembly file you can able to see that the particular dp the speed pack configuration has shows the icon like this you cannot be able to select or edit that particular component and next configurations we will create a simplified configurations by suppressing the fillets and chamfers in this kind of scenario i am taking this simple components but in your scenario you can having that any of the large files or step files any of them you can able to like simplify them here in this assembly techniques so i am using configuration for that particular rock arm part in this part i am taking as an example so in this left hand side you can able to see that that particular rock arm part has having the fillets and chamfers over there so i have been created the simplified configuration by suppressing those fillets and chamfers and added them into the sub assemblies and that sub assemblies to the main assembly everything is a simplified configurations so in your case you can able to simplify your any of the um, like imported files you can able to simplify them and use them for the better performance next are the features we can able to create a d feature version with just geometries no features uh, it is a just a dump solid file it will only visible as a graphical graphically so no other we can able to do it so we can also create a, this d features as a configuration also we can control them on the configurations on the next maybe you can able to see that Here on the left hand side you can able to see that all the parts and the particular uh, features and the planes are showing but on the right hand side you can see that only the d features like just a dump solid files which are showing only the graphical so next we are moving to envelopes now the envelopes are reference geometries we can use on the any of set of assembly files any type of assembly files we just use use these files as an geometry to get reference from these and we can able to create models and it will shows transparency in blue color it will ignores the bill of material and mass properties while we calculating so we can create that particular envelope created from the standard components in component property dialog box has shown here can able to create the envelopes and then on, on assembly techniques uh, the last is envelope publish we can publish some of the part files as an envelopes and we can also combine with that sub assemblies also opening the smaller chunks of the geometry we can used for in any of these sub assemblies or assembly files in these envelope publishes these are the techniques we have followed to make our 
assembly files even lighter and we can work faster so now we are moving on to the settings the settings options are plays a major role on system level itself so also most of them are simplest checks also it will trigger some of the large assembly settings like these are the friendly settings so we now we moving on to the next slide here on your system options tools option system options on displays there is a anti aliasing option it will choose on anti aliasing edges and sketches only means it will takes more time to load on your screen so you will just check has none option and then also you can able to clear the highlight all edges highlight all edges features in selected in the graphics view and then also you can clear dynamic highlight edges for the graphical view by doing is we can able to load the graphics faster and the next setting is on feature manager tree there is a dynamic highlight option you need to clear by clearing this while we check will we click any of the files on the feature manager tree it will loads on the graphical area and will shows this component it will take some amount of time we need to clear this option and then the performance in the system motions there is a performance on this performance you need to clear the verification on rebuilt and the transparency both the options needs to be unchecked and finally the enhanced graphic performance while we clicking the enhanced graphic performance we can able to rotate uh, like translation effect can be faster like zooming rotating like that the particular graphical area will be faster hidden lines hidden lines removal and hidden lines visible so faster it will it loads faster and you can set the quality for your working capabilities and then another system options is assemblies on assemblies there is a generic option on the top which as i have marked here and then the secondly there is an automatic trigger lightweight and ldr mode which is large design review mode you can able to set the particular number of components exceed means it will move to the like lighter weight mode or ldr mode by enabling the large assembly settings the large assembly settings has been used to function over there these are the options we need to check and click okay to apply to your performance to your settings to increase your performance now then we need to see the what are the tips we used for this all work to get easily work down here is a task scheduler so why i'm hearing insisting it the solidworks of uh, the latest version of files will be loads and works faster so we can able to convert the files using by our manual method or you can also schedule the task on your time here here is a small video regarding how the how we if you want to need to know about task scheduler means you just move on to the solidworks like our website and here from here you need to directly to the youtube channel from there there is a, there is a videos already have been taken on the webinar sessions has been uploaded here you can able to select the productivity tools for solidworks and here they may they may explain full about the task scheduler if you want need to know more means you can watch this video and you can come back as if we need any feedback you can come as come back okay next is the component name and description here you can see that the component name uh, like f support frame underscore end so these has been break down like the first f letter shows the status of the file and the second it will shows the file name and the third is the instance number the number in this in this particular time it is a one number of instance and and then the configuration name shows a left side burner and then finally the display state you can able to shows which file has to be shows shown on your feature manager design tree you can able to control that using the component name and description dialog box you can choose and select okay and then the filter option if you are having thousands of components in your assembly files so then you need to find which component which part or any of the assemblies or any of the mates you need to find means you, you it will take more time so you can able easily directly filter your component and you can add that particular component into your favorite folder so you can able to access it quickly and then limiting in in context features external reference to the part files it will take so you need in context features in less number of counts because it will affect your opening time drastically and then the mating options 
so you need to avoid the mates to pattern instances because it will loop back your particular reference files and it will take more time and also loads your cpu fully defined mates like toolbox components a fixed or fully defined mate maybe that works faster and loads faster if any of the errors in your uh, mating means it will loads because also if you can insert your bolts and nuts in your toolbox components it will only be used to uh, like concentric mates and the coincident mates but it will rotate so it will take large time to solve that particular mate so you can able to rotate the individual mates on concentric mate itself you can able to see that here in the marked options you can able to lock the rotation and then the named view you need to create a named view and with that particular view you can able to switch if you want to see that particular view you can click that name view on your on your properties tab if you if you are manually clicking and selecting any of the views it will takes more time to load and position your position on that particular location so for that we will make the named view means if we suddenly click the named view it will directly shows on your display and then the finally the performance evaluation tab so if you open the assemblies and finally the performance evaluation tab which is under the evaluation command manager on this tab it will shows the which files takes large time to opening and also the what are the graphical triangles having high amount of graphical triangles on the particular files and also number of components uh, sub assemblies contained in these assemblies you can with this data you can able to simplify your configuration simplify your assembly files then now we are moving on to the drawing performances so using like lightweight modes and large large assembly modes to improve your performance and opening your drawings without the model files in memory using detached drawing or like in detailing mode detailing view and also you can fix assembly interference issues using to correct your display issues now we are moving on to the modes similarly like assembly files a drawing files contains three modes just resolved lightweight and detailing well resolved mode a uh, resolve mode is the default mode you can all of us opened and worked it will loads all of the files in your memory and it will take amount some amount of time to load and then the lightweight mode in lightweight mode the components has been loaded lightweightly so you can see be able to see that in this image the components for the particular views has been loaded lightweight so you can able to create lightweight drawings to increase the speed of the loading and view manipulations etc and finally the detailing mode opening the large drawing files using the detailing mode it does not requires the model data to open or edit so add or edit the annotation you can able to add and edit the annotations here you can able to see that only the minor edits can be changes change done as done on the detailing mode like creating nodes balloons magnetic lights etc you cannot create dimensions that requires the model data informations like um, hole call outs because it needs the model data and then we are moving on to drawing performances on uh, drawing performance implies on two ways like image quality and the interference detection first of all we see the image quality and the display style if your, if your image quality has been needs to reduced means you may need to go to the particular options like options document properties image quality there you can able to slide the particular um, slider for a wireframe and high quality hidden lines remove hidden lines visible resolution you can set to your optimized level so you can work faster and also if you having any displays issues you can able to switch back switch to the hidden lines removal or hidden lines visible and you can also check with the high quality or draft quality view for overcome that particular type of issues and then the interference detection if you able to see that in the image there is some of the lines has been not shown properly so it contains some of the interference in the assembly level so first of all we need to open that particular assembly file and using the interference detection option we need to find the what are the interfering like interfering sessions and we need to solve them and we finally switch back to the assembly drawing files means it will shows properly with these options you can able to overcome your drawing issues what are the steps we have discussed before like um, what are the solve like large assembly settings large assembly what are the techniques and what are the tips by using that you can able to work faster with your large assemblies and faster drawing releasing and you can also manage your time and there is a pro also you can able to increase your productivity if you having any queries kindly just ask us if you having any queries or doubts kindly ask us